In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. You are the good shepherd leading us to eternal pastures of Christ have, Christ, have mercy. You feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, Grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard in Jezreel next to the palace of Ahab, <coughs> king of Samaria. Ahab said to Na Naboth, Give me your vineyard to be my vegetable garden, since it is close by, next to my house. I will give you a better vineyard in exchange, or if you prefer, I will give you its value in money. Naboth answered him, The Lord forbid that I should give you my ancestral heritage. Ahab went home disturbed and angry at the answer Na Naboth, the Je Jezreelite, had made to him. I will not give you my ancestral heritage. Lying down on his bed, he turned away from, the, from food and would not eat. <clears throat> His wife, Jezebel, came to him and said to him, Why are you so angry that you will not eat? He answered her, Because I spoke to Naboth, the Jezreelite, and said to him, Sell me your vineyard, or if you prefer, I will give you a vineyard in exchange. But he refused to let me have his vineyard. His wife, Jezebel, said to him, A fine ruler over Israel you are indeed. Get up. Eat and be cheerful. I will obtain the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, for you. So she wrote letters to Ahab's name and have sealed them with his seal, sent them to the elders and to the nobles who lived in the same city with Naboth. This is what she wrote in the letters. Proclaim a fast and set Naboth at the head of the people. Next, get two scoundrels to face him and accuse him of having cursed God and king. Then take him out and stone him to death. 
his fellow citizens, the elders and nobles who dwelt in his city, did as Jezebel had ordered them in writing through the letters she had sent them. They proclaimed a fast and placed Naboth at the head of the people. Two scoundrels came in and confronted him with the accusation, Naboth has a cursed God and king, and they led him out of the city and stoned him to death. They, then they sent the information to Jezebel that Naboth had been stoned to death. When Jezebel learned that Naboth had been stoned to death, she said to Ahab, Go on, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, that he refused to sell you, because Naboth is, now, is not alive but dead. On hearing that Naboth was dead, Ahab stretched off on his way down to the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, to take possession of it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, listen to my groaning. Lord, listen to my groaning. Hearken to my words, O Lord, attend to my sighing. Heed my call for help, my King and my God. Lord, listen to my groaning. At dawn I be bring my plea exponentially before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lord, listen to my groaning. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lord, listen to my groaning. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. To my feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, you have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. Our first reading is a very interesting account from the first book of Kings about, you remember Ahab, the prince of Israel, and Jezebel, uh, who ends up becoming 
the queen uh, together with, once they get hitched. And uh, so Jezebel and Ahab end up, end up ruining, or not ruining, end up ruling the area. Well, ruining it in a lot of ways too. God isn't too happy with the folks in this first reading today who let a small thing become something crazy. And isn't that the way it goes uh, very often? Here we see Naboth, who, uh, the Jezreelite, who had this vineyard and uh, right next to Ahaz. And, uh, and Ahaz wants that garden. And so he, he tries to go make a deal. And maybe one lesson, according to our gospel, one lesson that you might not pick up on in this first reading is that maybe he should have taken the deal. And yeah, that's my garden, I like it, but you, I can tell that you, my fellow man, want my garden for yourself so that you can have, because it's right next to it, it's just kind of like um, being, uh, it's like if you have a property and all, there's a house on the property that isn't yours and you own the whole block except for that one little house and you really want that house. Maybe the owner of that house would be a good person to say, oh, I have something you want. We're brother human beings. And here Naboth is offered by this, Ahab was no great king, but, but he was kind of a scoundrel. But, but nonetheless, like take that out of the picture. Ahab, he, he offers, give me your vineyard for my, to be my garden since it's right next to my house. And then I'll give you a better vineyard in exchange or if you prefer, I'll give you its value in money. So it wasn't a bad deal. And Jesus says in our gospel, do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. And here, you know, maybe one lesson here is that sometimes we have something that somebody else wants or needs. And we don't do any service to anybody to be stubborn, stubborn horses about it that maybe sometimes it's okay to say, you know what, I'll give that to you. Let's work out a deal. So anyway, well, Naboth wasn't having that. So then Ahab and, uh, and Jezebel come up with a, a rather unfortunate plot. And Jezebel writes these letters using Ahaz, Ahab's name. And he, and, and he just totally ruined uh, it. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, envy leads to murder. And um, I don't know, folks, I think that sometimes, sometimes we can get rather petty about stuff. We can allow ourselves to become very blinded from that which is most important, which is one another which is God. And sometimes we just have to let our egos go, let our, our pride go, and let our stubbornness go. And, um, and we just have to get along. You know? Uh, I was, I don't know. One example, I think, from our own day is there are just, there's a lot of different people's different ideas about everything right now, especially with regards to this virus. And everybody thinks they're right about how best to respond. And sometimes uh, we, people can be rather uncharitable to each other. And I just happened to witness something a couple days ago that really had me disturbed. I better not go into details. But, but bottom line is, my dear friends, that life is too short to be cranky pants. Life is too short to get worked up over different things. And that's probably what Jesus is saying. Look at this gospel. An eye for an eye, the whole world will go blind. And um, if somebody wants your right cheek, you give the other as well. Life is too short to retreat. Remember the other place in the script. Do not return insult for insult or evil for evil. Return a blessing instead. That comes from the first pope in his first letter in the scriptures. Do not return evil for evil or insult for insult. 
return a blessing instead. If Naboth and Ahab and Jezebel had done that, none of this would have happened and we would have been a better world for it. Let's stand for our prayers. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his intentions, his safety, and his health, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who govern the different countries, and cities, states, around the world. May they do so wisely, and may they have the Holy Spirit as their guide. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those suffering, all those going through hard times, especially those who are sick in body, mind, or soul. We pray that God might grant them relief. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are unable to be with us physically. We know how much they wish they could be. We pray for them as they suffer without the, without the Eucharist, as they uh, wait for that day when they will be safely able to return. We pray to the, for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our wonderful children who just got their first communion yesterday and on Saturday as well. May they always love Jesus, who is the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are discerning their vocation in life. We pray that all of our young people will do that. We'll have open hearts, open ears, and pray about God's plan for their life. And may we as a church be blessed with many more good and holy priests and religious. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those who have gone before us and await the kingdom. We pray that they may see God face to face. We pray to the Lord. And finally, we pray for the intention of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord Almighty God and Father, we place these and all the prayers of our hearts before you. In your mercy and love, we ask that you answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of it. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and forgive your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command informed by the we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and mercy of us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. What has passed our lips as food, O Lord? May we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.